Hello, this is your daily devotion for November 30. And our reading this morning comes to us from Genesis, the first chapter, beginning with the first verse. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the spirit, surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. Pretty familiar uh, passage there, words that we've heard many, many, many times before. But on this rather cold and blustery morning, when I woke up to find that several of our plants outside in pots had blown over, during the uh, rather strong winds we had overnight, I was naturally thinking about wind. And it makes me think of this passage from the very beginning of the Bible, the very beginning of the book of Genesis. Because the word for spirit and the word for wind in the Hebrew language are both the same, ruach. And God's ruach was moving over the waters. The Spirit was a kind of wind. Wind is often connected with the Holy Spirit all throughout Scripture. Jesus said the uh, Spirit was like the wind and that you don't know where it comes from and you don't know where it goes. And on the day of Pentecost, what announced the arrival of the Holy Spirit? It wasn't pillars of fire coming down and touching each and every one of the disciples, but rather it began with a great rush of wind. Wind is a powerful force of change. Wind can, over the course of years, erode even the hardest rock. Wind can be destructive, as we've seen many, many times. And it can be mildly annoying, as many of us woke up to this morning to find our trash cans or our plants or other things simply blown over. And you know, there's a little bit of work to do to clean it up, and it's cold outside, and no one really wants to go out there and do it. But God's wind, God's spirit is always moving. The earth is never truly calm or never truly still, but the wind is always going. And in the same way, God's spirit is always at work. And like we can feel the wind, which is sometimes warm and enticing and sometimes cool and refreshing and sometimes cold and scary like it is this morning. We know that God's spirit is at work in our lives at all times. And sometimes it's comforting. Sometimes it's refreshing, sometimes it's annoying or even scary, but God's Spirit is always at work. God's Spirit is intimately connected with the wind in Scripture. Let us pray. Stir up your spirit, O Lord, and let it blow through our lives. Let us feel the wind of your action and activity and be moved from idleness to action. We thank you for the blessing of the Spirit in our lives and pray that we'd always be open to its leading. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again soon.